Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. I have a beer that was brought to me by the one, the only, Colgate. Colgate brought this to me. It's from one of the breweries that he loves to frequent right now where he's working. Uh, this is one of their new seasonals, one of their new one-offs. Uh, it says that it is a Gruet. It is from Railway City Brewing. It is Let the Gruet Times Roll. So here we go. Let the Gruet Times Roll. It was uh, packaged on May 22nd. Today is June 21st, so exactly 30 days ago. Uh, it is a Gruet, so I've been trying to get onto on it faster. I don't know if it's a traditional Gruet. Gruet's usually... Uh, malt Bill is usually more oaty, and there is no hops. It's all... Uh, it's all spices that are on the back end. Um, because there's no hops, there's no preservative, preservative agents. Uh, these guys don't pasteurize and they don't filter. Well, they, they have a filter now, but it's, it's a single canister filter, I do believe. Um, so they don't, they don't pasteurize. It's, I believe this one even claims it's unfiltered. No, this one just says not pasteurized, keep refrigerated. Uh, but anyway, they're filtering, not the greatest. They don't pasteurize, and there's no hops in this beer. So I wanted to get to it soon, so it's a month old now. Hopefully hopefully it stays good. It says here that it's featuring sage, rosemary, black cumin, and a thousand pounds of four different styles of malt. 5.3% alcohol by volume. A thousand pounds of malt. That was a big batch. Got our spearhead glass out. Water. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Now, in all honesty, one of the last gruits I had was the double coit by um, Bose, and that was the super thick gruit. This one has a little bit of haze, it has an off-white head, it is a beautiful amber color, it's just starting that amber hue, it just has that reddish orange coloring. Nice fluffy head, looks very nice. Listen to that. Okay. Sounds good. Ooh, I just got caught a whiff of it. Oh my god. Hmm. I expected to smell the cumin, to tell you the truth. Mostly because I hate it. But I don't. Lots of rosemary coming off the nose. Lots of rosemary. Uh, lots of sage. I do make a very beautiful sage and rosemary uh, yam fry. I cut my yams into dollar strips. I drizzle them with uh, olive oil into, uh, into dollar chips, you know. Drizzle them with olive oil and throw sage and rosemary on them. And this smells so much like that that I think I might make those for lunch. Just the beautiful, beautiful scent of sage. The beautiful, beautiful scent of rosemary. A little, little almost ginger tingle in there. And almost a, a scent of mint as well. It's a very beautiful smelling beer. Uh, not what you expect at all when you're sniffing a beer. It's just very, very herbal. Let's try it. It looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. I'm excited right now. Cheers, guys. You know, this is a beer where the taste is a little disappointing. Uh, don't take that as I'm saying there's something wrong with it. It's just the, the visual appeal was great. The scent was amazing. The taste, uh, it's there. It's just uh, dulled down for me. Uh, that being said, again, not anything against the beer. It's actually a pleasant beer. It's a pleasant gruit. 
Uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this Gruet, to be honest with you. But it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, you know what, it, right now at the LCBO, there's still bottles of the uh, Bose Kissmeyer Nordic Pale Ale, which is a Gruet as well. At least the original was. I don't think I don't think it has hops yet. I know the original was unhopped. It was all sweet Yale and everything like that. I'm just I'm just drawing comparison here. If the pale ale is still unhopped, it is a great Groot with a lot of flavor. This one is a great Groot. It just doesn't have the flavor profile. It's there, as I said, it's there. But really, what it tastes like is my yam fries. It has a sweetness that reminds me of the yams. It has a very light body, a very, very light body, probably medium carbonation levels, but very light body, lots of rosemary, lots of sage. Still, I don't taste the cumin. And again, I hate it, so I expected it. So I'm okay with that. But really, the flavor profile is sage and rosemary. Almost a touch of mint. And then, soda water. So it tastes really good, it's just lacking. Uh, that being said, it's probably a Gruet, especially with the, with the body, the body being very light bodied, it's probably a Gruet that you could put back a bunch of bottles of. I can't say you can do that with everyone, because most of the ones I've had lately have been very oaty. They've been very, very heavy. They've been oat forward. This one, a thousand pounds of malt, but they they all taste like they're like... I would I would have to guess, if I had to hazard a guess, because there's almost no sweetness there. Like, there's sweetness there, but it's not able to be differentiated for myself from the, from the herbs. I would say... I would say they're probably mostly like Munich style malts, uh, German style malts, just Pilsner malts. Uh, it, they just come off so light. Uh, obviously they can't all be Pilsner malt because the color, but that's just what they remind me of because there's almost no malt taste at all. Actually, I'll go ahead and say it, I don't taste any malt. I taste sage and rosemary. So that being said, if you like sage and rosemary, it's an amazing beer for you. If you hate sage and rosemary, not all that great of a beer for you. If you don't know what sage and rosemary tastes like, it's a good beer for you because you can learn. Um, and the no hops is something weird for those that have never had it before because there is just nothing on the back end. It's just done. Oh, wait. Now we're not clear at all. There was there was more splooge than I thought there was. I would looked in the bottle and there didn't look like any splooge, so I didn't really roll it all that much. But look, now you can't see through it. So, one more drink, and then we'll do our final say. There's the cumin. There it is. The sage, once once the splooge comes in, the sage is gone. It's rosemary and cumin, and almost like a, uh, almost like a non-shaved ginger. Like, just the whole root was thrown in that nobody shaved it up, and chopped it up and everything. Just an earthy, earthy ginger taste. And the cumin, I, I told you already I hate cumin, but actually the cumin uh, kind of adds to this beer because once the splu... So, if you're going to drink this beer, get a glass big enough to hold it all. Get a glass big enough to hold a full 650. Or, unless you want to do the two different tastes. Because without the splu, you have just a light-bodied rosemary sage ale. With the splu you have a rosemary cumin ginger 
beer, like a full-on beer, because the cumin and the ginger come off at the end now, so it's almost as if there is something hop there. So now it's rosemary, cumin, ginger, instead of uh, rosemary, sage, soda water. Um, all in all, I think I actually liked the soda water version better, because I could have pounded that stuff. Uh, this, still really good. This actually rounds it out more. It's it's not as good of a pounder, but now it's a well-rounded beer. Out of 10, disappointed with the taste profile still. It's it's not as it's not as pronounced as I'd like, but it's still worth an 8 out of 10. It's a really good gruet. It shows people what a, what an unhopped beer can be like, and it doesn't taste bad. It's just very very uneventful, if we will. So yeah, 8 out of 10. It's worth a drink. Thank you very much, Devin. Thank you very much, Railway City. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Oh. Ooh, gassy.